want to be cool. Here at Machine Tapping, we stock a large range of tapping arms. For this presentation, we will be showing the working capabilities of the ARM 1016, which can tap up to M16 and has a working reach of 1000 millimeters. The ARM 1016 can be mounted to a suitable bench using the four fixing bolts located in the base pivot. The arm can rotate 360 degrees around its base, giving the arm a 2000 mm diameter working area. The lower arm section gives height clearance over the workpiece and is also a convenient location for the air regulator, filter and auto lubricator, which comes supplied with the arm. The auto lubricator can help prolong the life of the motor by keeping it lubricated during the work process. The upper arm section rotates around the middle pivot, while the pantographic action maintains the parallel movement of the motor. The gas strut counterbalances the weight of the motor, greatly reducing operator fatigue. Clamped to the top of the upper arm is the motor. The paddle lever operates forward rotation, with a thumb button that controls the reverse rotation. Finally, below the controls is the quick change collet chuck, which is fitted as standard to the motor. Collets, which are available separately, allow the tapping size to be changed quickly and easily, with each size of tap being held in its own collet. To load a tap into a collet is an easy process. Once you have checked that you have the correct size collet that matches the tap size, press the locking button on the front of the collet and insert the machine tap. Twist until the tap falls into the alignment square at the rear of the collet and release the locking button. The tap is now locked into place within the collet. Now that you have your taps fitted into their respective collets, you can begin to tap. First you will need to insert your collet into the quick change chuck. Lift the outer locking ring on the chuck and insert the collet. Align the square drive pegs and push home. The outer locking ring will snap downwards and lock the collet into place. In this example, the hole we are going to work on has been drilled all the way through the metal bar. Maneuver the tap so it's above the hole you wish to work on and press the paddle lever to start the motor. Lower the tap into the hole and begin the thread cutting process. To retract the tap, continue to hold the front paddle lever, pressing the reverse button on the back of the motor. This will engage reverse on the motor, allowing the user to retract the tap from the newly threaded hole. For our second example, we are going to work on a blind hole, which has a smaller size than the first. For this we will need to change the tapping collet. Remembering to hold the current collet, lift the outer locking ring on the quick change chuck. This will eject the collet from the chuck. By keeping hold of the collet, you will avoid damaging the tap if it drops onto the table or even the floor surface. Swap to the new collet and insert it into the chuck as before. Each collet has a built-in clutch system which will slip once it reaches the bottom of a blind hole, preventing the tap from breaking. As before, maneuver the tap into place above the hole and press the paddle lever. Lower the tap into the hole and begin the thread cutting process. Once the tap reaches the bottom of the blind hole, the clutch will slip and the tap stops spinning, even with the motor still activated. With the hole successfully tapped, you can now reverse the tap out by continuing to hold the front paddle lever and pressing the reverse button on the back of the motor.
gonna be cool. Here at Machine Tapping, we provide a wide range of tapping arms with a variety of working areas and tapping capabilities. For further information on pantographic arms, collets, taps and other related products can be found on our website.